I need to get my fucking tooth removed. <sighs> uh, it's painful now. Mm. Good morning, guys. As you can see, it's a lovely, lovely, yeah, exactly. I know. Um, right. While I was uh, doing a lot of research and before I actually started uh, my channel, I came across a lot of YouTubers, a lot of motor vloggers, um, a lot of which inspired me to do what I'm doing now. Um, I've still got a long way to go, but at the end of the day, um, I've started. There we go. Um, one of them in particular, uh, called Gabby from The Gabby Show, and um, I was watching one of her blogs recently, and um, she was talking on there about how she, um, it's called how, well, I Drove Over a Cliff, so I'll put the link in the description. Anyway, she's talking about how she uh, almost died, um, and how she should be dead, and I was thinking, my God, so many hours, that she's just as accident prone as me. Um, and that actually got me thinking about my uh, attempts at kicking the bucket. Um, and I realised I've had more lives than a cat. Um, the, the first time, uh, basically, when I was born, this is the story that my father told me, that when I was born, I had the umbilical cord wrapped around my neck about three times. I was blue and lifeless. And um, I didn't move at all. And, they thought I was dead. And it wasn't until the midwife came and picked me up that I started to cry. Um, the second time was about 18 months old. Me and my sister, we raided the kitchen cupboards. And this would be the kitchen cupboard that contains the bleach, the washing powder, the sterilizing tablets. And we pretty much consumed a vast quantity of it. Um, <laughs> Q1 trip to the hospital, the stomach bunk later, and um, oh, it's done me no harm whatsoever. Yeah, right. Um, the next time after that would have been roughly about the same age, and my sister force fed me 200 cigarettes. Uh, my, I was being looked after by my godfather at the time. Um, uh, we was in Germany, and my mum had got my dad some cigarettes, and my sister decided to feed them to me until I was sick. And uh, my godmother at the time was there while I was being sick, and she's like, oh, look, there's a dog end. And my own mother's like, well, you'd bring up a dog end if you'd been fed cigarettes as well. So, yeah. So, i got a feeling my sister doesn't like me. No. Um, but that's a completely different story. So, um, after that, I think the next time, must have been about four or five, I, was, uh, I went to watch the White Helmet Motorbike Display Team. Um, it's the army display team, and I think that's what I got hooked on motorcycles from that age. I had one of these little pedal kind of motorcycles with a sidecar. Um, so when I got home, I convinced my sister to uh, pedal it while I stood in the sidecar there. And the only problem is she got bored and decided to get off before I got off. Thus the bike tipping up, I landed on my head, splitting my head open. Uh, Q1 hospital trip later, and lots of blood. Um, pretty much every asthma attack I've ever had, because I've got chronic asthma, which really sucks. Uh, so yeah, if, if there's one thing I suck at, I suck at breathing. So, um, when I was uh, a teenager, I couldn't go anywhere without getting run over, literally. Um, I actually got run over by the same bus three times in one day which I think was an amazing feat. We used to have these little mini buses uh, when I lived in Leicestershire called Fox Cubs. And they, and they used to travel a specific route. And they actually managed to get hit by the same one three times in one day, which I thought was pretty impressive. I was forever falling off my bike, as in push bike. Um, um, and I think one day I was uh, skateboarding downhill and uh, I came head on with a car and my skateboard kind of went under the car and I went over the car which wasn't much fun I can tell you that now um, also when I was a teenager I decided 
to fall down the side of a reservoir. Um, I was out, uh, I belong to like a, a, a youth organisation. We'd gone camping and we was playing a game of tag or something like that and um, we was camped by the side of a reservoir well we was at the top of the reservoir hiding and we decided to um, run down the only problem is we slipped and pretty much fell down the side of a reservoir you know cue the really ridiculous voice of my mother saying if you break both your legs don't come running to me like yeah right okay yeah mum like I'm going to be able to do that Crawl to you, maybe. Run to you? No, I don't think so. Um, uh, the other time after that was I um, went when I was about 16. I uh, got involved in motorsport and uh, I went marshalling. Now marshals basically these are the guys that are dotted around the track to look after the cars and the driver, drivers. Um, or in the case of motorcyclists, obviously bikes and riders if they have a crash, if they broke down or something goes wrong. Uh, so on my first day, they decided to put me between... Um, this is at Donington Park, so if you know Donington Park, they decided to put me between uh, McLean's Corner and Coppice Corner. This is one post, and you're going uphill on a straight. And they're like, oh, nobody ever comes off there, and if they do, it's only because they've broken down. I swear to God, I had three cars literally just turn uh, 15 degrees and slam straight in the wall at my feet and nobody's ever actually crashed there and from that day onwards I became very jinxed in the way of motorsport um, I've also been hit by various cars various bikes and at one point engulfed in a ball of flames um, I'm still I'd love to find them. there are photographs of that somewhere and I'd love to see them so um, after that um, oh yeah, when I passed my driving test, I actually flipped my car uh, over a six foot hedge. Two hours, literally two hours after passing my driving test, I rolled my car, literally flipped it in the air over a six foot hedge, which wasn't fun. Um, what else? So, um, there's been various accidents on motorcycles, etc, etc. Um, the worst one would be uh, in about uh, 1999 I contracted meningitis so um, I ended up in ITU for a while with that uh, I also um, they also give me a um, not blood transfusion a plasma transfusion and I had a reaction to that as well so yeah so um, um, I've, uh, I've, I've definitely lived, I've definitely had more lives than a cat. Um, uh, and just recently I've discovered that, of all things, I'm allergic to the environment because I had a couple of anaphylactic reactions to dust. Yes. So, yeah, I have to be very careful around dust. Great. Okay. Anyway, thanks guys for listening to my little story there. If there's anything you liked, please comment below. If you've got any near-death experiences yourself, uh, please let us know. If you want me to talk about anything else, uh, please put it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you a lot later. Cheerio.